Hi, um, my name is Walid Sadi. I'm the founder and CEO of PaySky. I have been in the payments business for the past 18 years. I used to lead innovations at Visa for the Middle East and Africa out of care office. And then I moved with Visa to London to manage a strategy for Simea region, that's Central and Eastern Europe, Middle East and Africa. From this role uh, out of London uh, and managing all these markets, 80 plus markets, it was obvious that were the, there were some trends, patterns that uh, you cannot help but it, to notice them uh, happening in the electronic payment space that has really reshaped, redesigned and redefined the whole payments ecosystem in this region and other regions as well. Um, from the emergence of digital disruptors in Asian markets like uh, Alipay in China, WeChat Pay in China, uh, Paytm in India, uh, these players appeared with a digital proposition that has completely uh, uh, reshaped the market. Uh, look at Paytm with over 250 million customers in a very short time, superseding the number of customers in the largest bank in India, and so on and so forth. So based on this vision and uh, noticing the fact that this, this disruption can also could, could either be a value destruction uh, a proposition or a very value creation proposition uh, and we chose the latter and we wanted to work on this to make the existing momentum in the financial service space continue with uh, the innovation that they would aspire to have so with this in mind i left uh, visa and put together a team uh, to build paysky in essence we have worked to digitize payments and offer this innovation as a layer that the existing incumbents can just adopt and uh, offer their existing customers and new customers uh, innovative and digital solutions that not only will meet uh, the, the, the possible uh, offering, competing offering from digital players and disruptors, if not actually exceed this as well. And that's basically by the value of uh, the shared innovation that we share across the different markets that uh, we can bring from one market to the other, enriching the whole proposition. With this in mind, we have built a complete uh, financial services, digital financial services proposition, building an ecosystem whereby we digitize payments on both ends. So on one end, we have digitized the acceptance uh, by building a super payment gateway and a merchant super app uh, that would allow merchants and businesses to accept payments, uh, manage their online presence and online e-commerce online e uh, uh, offerings, um, all from a mobile application. Uh, they can also manage collections uh, and receivables at large. They can manage uh, payouts to their suppliers, payroll to their employees in one single proposition. On the other hand, we have built a consumer proposition around a card with a super app, a blend of both the Eastern School of Thought around the super app offering and the Western School of Thought around the branded standardized offering of a financial service on a, on a payment card. And for that, we have chosen Visa to partner with and uh, we have uh, started offering this solution in uh, starting by the Egyptian market uh, and it was a blast. In the first 60 days of the launch, we have onboarded more than 500,000 customers uh, that is equivalent to what other traditional retail banks were doing in 10 and 15 years. It shows that uh, the customers were waiting and, uh, and and desperately waiting, I would say, uh, for something in that uh, that space that is digital, complete and comprehensive. Um, I would say the, the uh, on the acceptance side, I have to share as well that we have built the proposition and we're present in more than 10 markets now. Uh, starting by the Egyptian market and, uh, and, and expanded into multiple markets in Asia, uh, Middle East and Africa, where we are enabling digital financial so solutions for digital uh, 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 central banks, classical retail banks, uh, telecom operators, uh, fintechs and uh, um, uh, postal institutions. I would say regarding innovation, I would say our secret sauce on that regard would be uh, innovation and agility. Uh, that, that was really our differentiation in the offerings uh, were actually created uh, a proposition 
that fits the gaps existing in the market and meets the aspiration of our customers being individuals or corporates. Um, I would like to share with you as well a couple of points on uh, and how our philosophy of, of innovation and how we approach the challenge and how we uh, think that uh, this philosophy really helped us to uh, spark the, the uh, power of innovation and help us deliver these kind of solutions. Um, I would start by know your stuff. You cannot innovate in a space that you do not really master. You have to understand uh, very well the fundamentals of this space, its pain, its challenges, its history, and other initiatives and other trials happening uh, elsewhere in the world. By understanding their domain, um, you will be able to understand its mechanics and accordingly start to innovate in particular cycles and components of it. The second uh, challenge, uh, advice I would say is basically challenge everything. Challenge the business models, challenge the technology being used, challenge, challenge how people have been conducting this kind of practice before. Uh, do not put any boundaries to, the, to your innovation process and your thought process. Having said that, the third point would be respect the regulations. It, it's very good to have innovative, disruptive and revolutionary ideas but without having these ideas channeled within the proper regulation frameworks. And some domains are more regulated than the others. So specifically in our domain, like financial services, it's heavily regulated and it's not really a space where you can mess around with trials. So you can innovate as much as you want, but when you go to market, make sure that you are fully compliant, else you can get in, in conflicts with regulators that can push you back years actually and can, can stop your growth in, in, a, in a disruptive way. Um, the fourth point I would say is actually keep an eye on the market, keep, a, keep an eye on competition. Uh, innovation doesn't only come from your within. So there are a lot of potential uh, ideas, uh, concepts that you can adopt and refine and build upon from uh, around the world that you do not necessarily need to restrict yourself to what you create from inside. Uh, the market is big, billions of, of people are living. Of course, a lot of innovations will come from elsewhere. So keep an eye on what's happening and refine it, adopt what makes sense and localize it and make it more relevant to you. And finally, do not rush to crush. So you have a good idea, you can see the potential, you can see the product market fit. It will take time sometimes in, in order to realize your potential. You start the chess game with an eye on checkmate, but you don't do this in the first two moves. You have to control the, the, the checkboard, uh, the chessboard, and then you will finally reach your objective. So build real businesses, do not uh, rush uh, the results. Results will come when you build proper business models, proper products, offer them and service them properly. Results will come and uh, you'll see the fruit of innovation. Again, thank you very much for inviting me to be with you today. Uh, I'll be gl glad to be in touch with you. The best way will be to reach me over on my LinkedIn profile, Walid Salak. Thank you again.